Today I'd like to fulfill a request from one of my two subscribers, thanks a lot for your kind comment by the way, on how to create work sets using Dynamo, but this time utilizing an Excel spreadsheet as a source of your data. Hi and welcome to BIM Lounge where we learn how to stay efficient and create more. By the end of this tutorial you will be able to create a list of work sets in an Excel spreadsheet for Dynamo to use uh, to create work sets. Let's get to work. To start off, let's look at the information that we have available. In the Excel spreadsheet, I'm only showing the work sets names that I'm going to use to create new work sets. While in Dynamo, I created a code block with only the two work sets that we're going to rename. Now, I created it just so the process will be a lot easier during the tutorial. One other thing to notice is the name that we gave the tab within the spreadsheet. And also as a reminder, this is the condition that we start from. So share levels and grids and work set are the only two work sets that are um, currently in the project. Now, before we get started in Dynamo, make sure you have the parametric monkey package installed. That will be the final node and that will give us the chance to start from that and work backwards again. So let's look for work set create. And you see that I created these two inputs so that I would be able to easily connect those. Now the first input is actually getting information from the spreadsheet that we just reviewed. Now the core node here would be data, Excel, input. And you see that we need a file but before the file, we'll need a file path so we can browse our spreadsheet. And this is the spreadsheet that we just reviewed. That's the file path, but we need a file. So we need file from path. And then remember the, the tab name or the sheet name in this case was, let's do a, code block that's the name of the tab and then we'll uh, we'll need a, a boolean and let's make it true to confirm that we are reading as strings and that's it and then we can connect the data to that first input and run Great. So we renamed those two work sets and we created all those work sets that we've seen in the spreadsheet. So which method do you prefer? A more of a set it and forget it way to do this by having a list of work sets that lives within your Dynamo script. Uh, by the way, I made a video about this link in the description or a more of a flexible way um, as we just did uh, using Excel. Let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching.